This week we party on with Sorg, Chachi, and Riz. Welcome to Let's Play, everybody. Uh, this week uh, we are joined by Sorg. Sorg, what'd you play this week? Oh, Angry Birds, Angry Birds, Angry Birds. I'm getting ready for the big uh, Angry Birds Star Wars 2, which I believe comes out tomorrow as of this recording. Uh, so I've been uh, uh, rolling through uh, uh, the game, a and they they have a Moon of Endor uh, pack of levels that just unlock, so I've been playing that. So, Chachi, how you doing? What'd you play? Uh, I'm doing well. Um, I played Pac-Man... Uh, Candy Crush, um, Medal of Honor, and I tried Rainbow Six, but it turns out it's terrible. The second um, one's a lot better. And I had to uninstall it anyhow, um, because it's GTA 5 Day. GTA <laughs> Gigantic five day. GTA yep. 5 Day. Mm. Yes. <sighs> so, did you get to play any GTA 5? Yeah, I, I've put in about an hour so far. Good. Nice. So, um, I, I learned a very important lesson today. Okay. Um, don't buy a game at the beginning of your work day, <laughs> or else the only thing you'll want to do is try to figure out how to get out of your work day yep. to play said game. There's a lot, is there a lot of caressing the packaging at that point? Um, I, I studied the map. I, I read the <laughs> really small um, book because it's all online, and that's about it. I can, I can just picture Chachi just like studying up on his GTA Five before he plays it. Oh, dude, I'm going to drive it's up into the mountains. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to kill some hookers here. Uh, oh my. Oh. So, Bob. All right, Riz, what did you Bob. play and how are you doing? I'm doing good, Bobby. How are you doing? Good, good. Good. How's everything going over there? Not bad, not bad. What did you play? Uh, well, I before GTA Five came out, I was playing uh, a good amount of bit of Saints Row Four and Payday, along with oh Payday Two, along with uh, the, the board game. Yeah. No, the candy bar. Um, and I also been playing the playing the highly addictive Words with Friends, even though I suck at words. Um, other than that, I'm not not really that much. I haven't really done much. And I don't think I'm going to be doing much because GTA Five will take over my life just like it will Bobby's and Chachi's, and when Sword gets its sword. I got finished Max Payne, man. I got finished Max Payne. No, you with don't. The maximum amount of pain possible. So I can spoil I, I, it here oh, for you if you want. No. All right, is everybody done? Pain. Bobby. All right, I played uh, Avengers Alliance for the least amount of time I've ever played it. Um, I played Simpsons Tapped Out. I played Saints Row 4, uh, Kingdoms of Amal Amalur Reck Reckoning, which I'm really starting to like, which is unfortunate because, like everybody said, GTA 5's out. Um, I played Diablo 3's demo on the Xbox, which was okay. Uh, I bought Lego Batman 2, and I played Animal Crossing, which now I'm involved in a black market fish trading uh, oh. organization. Um, I got $10,000 for a Marlin, so that's that's something good. Um, I played DuckTales, which I'm going to get a little more into uh, later with just part of our boss battle question. And um, I played the challenge this week. I was the only one to play the there's challenge a, this week. There's a reason why I did that straw pool, um, Bobby. I feel like I was being punished for something that I didn't do to play this challenge this week. Um, we, we, uh, the challenge this week was Wayne's World, in case you didn't get, get it from that uh, terrible intro I did today. Um, party on, Bobby. Uh, party on, Riz. Um, it was probably, I would say that it's probably the worst challenge we've done to date. Really? It was some Blues Brothers? I, it, was, it, was, it was so bad, I'm, I turned it off. <laughs> Like I was, I'm like, it's like I got to the continue screen. And it was like, would you like to continue? And and Wayne's like, we're not worthy. And I'm like, no, you're you're really you're not worthy. Not. So I hit no. 
I shut it off. Well, I was I'll be, done. I'm going to save this moment. It was for for next week. Well, home improvement. This next next week's home improvement. Next week oh, is no. home improvement. And I think you're going to have the same reaction. It because that's a bad game. And 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 the thing with Wayne's World too is the intro is like a half an hour long. You don't get to play the game until they go through their top ten list of worst video games that they all that are all made up. They're like top worst games, <laughs> which of the is week. kind of ironic when you think about it. Which yeah, is <laughs> that this game should be number one. But yeah, it was terrible. So since nobody else played it, we're going to move on to our next segment, which is things you should be made aware of. Mm-hmm. Um, this week, um, I, I stumbled across um, Mega Man Two Lullabies. Which um, these are they annoying say, as hell. No, they're not. They're not bad at all. What do you mean they're annoying? They're they they're they're nice versions of um, the Mega Man Two themes that are slowed down. Um, they did every single boss ba- or everything every single um, boss robot, and they even did the Doctor Wily theme, the intro. Um, it, it's really neat. Um, Sorg is playing a little bit of it right now. Um, I think the best one is Dr. Wily's uh, castle theme, which everybody knows that one. So, but let's listen to some soothing music for a little bit here. It's fun, and everybody's asleep. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but it kind of has that like uh, soothing quality to it so if you have if you have a kid it, it's a good way to introduce them into video game music uh from the crib so awesome where do you find this um it is at um www.megaman2lullabies.com nice so and, and they have um like the the soundcloud things up i don't know if you can download them or not i haven't tried but i might try to download them so i think they're free too you can listen to them for free so mm. All right, uh, moving on to our next thing you should be made aware of. College Humor reviewed GTA V. Oh. Um, not really GTA V. They, they, they made a spoof video of it where they reviewed different, like, they said they were talking about how realistic it was. Um, the guy first goes into um, putting a hat on his character, and you can, like, set the tilt of the hat, and then it falls off. <laughs> He's like, oh, i got to start again. So and then he moves on to um, he he said he goes to the bank and he, he got a flat tire so he had to change the tire and one of the things was he had to set his or turn his uh, lug nuts on his car and then he's like oh, okay I got all four of them and then one was missing and the, the next mission was find the missing nug lu- er, lug nut <laughs> so yeah and, and and it involves a baby deer um, he 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 sh- he shoots a deer in the woods and uh, it's like. Uh, I think that said like uh, make up for the for uh, being a monster by raising this baby deer as you go and you can feed it a bottle and stuff. It was pretty funny, so you have to check that out. It's on Kotaku and uh, College Humor and YouTube. So, this is nuts. Pretty good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one one of the things involved turning water faucets to make sure you don't get like burnt by the water and then you died. Mm-hmm. So so yeah, it was it was pretty good. So. All right. Probably. Next. Now we're going to move on to our news segment, and our first story was written by uh, Matt Sorg, Sorg's brother. Hey. Uh, it's about uh, Steam, and that they're finally letting people share their games, that, like your game library. You can share with up to ten people. It's called um, Steam Family. Um, it says here that uh, it's in beta pretty soon. I'm mm-hmm. um, not available to the public yet. Um, you can share uh, all your games. Well, most of your games. You can't share like uh, online games and stuff like that uh, with up to ten people on on your account. You can author- authorize ten people. That could be friends, family members, stuff I like that. I think it's a pretty cool idea. Uh, mm-hmm. Partially because I know he's going to share with me his uh, massive yeah. library and vice versa. So I think we just like. This is the perfect, like, marriage of our Steam collections. But, you know, that idea, like, oh, what? but you can't play this game at the same time if somebody's borrowing it out. Well, that's the same thing that would happen if you let me, you let me your copy of GTA V, Chachi. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Uh, it, it, so I, it, 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 it reflects that concept. 
you know. Um, they have DRM they have to deal with, you know, like it or not, they have to, and they developed Steam is successful because the game companies let them do what they do because they figured out DRM. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And you can't play you can't play the same game somebody else is playing at the same time yeah. either. That's one of the catches with yeah, it. Yeah, and, and that's what I'm talking about. So it's it's just like I took this copy of um, uh, Ghostbusters the video game and said, "Here, play this game. You know, check it out." Uh, mm-hmm. And my brother's playing it and enjoying it. And you know, depending on the game, you know, yeah, okay. If I bought like the new Bioshock. And maybe we might fight over it a little bit. Or at least he can be like, hey, I finished Bioshock, you want to play it? And then I can lock it up for a bit and try it out and play through it and stuff. But if he's already gone through everything. You know, I, I, I think I think that I, I think we have to think about that mentality of being like, you know, hey, here's a disc, try it out. You know, I can't lend anybody my copy of Max Payne 3 on the Xbox right now. And now I won't be able to on Xbox One because uh, everybody cried about it everybody uh, ruined it yeah, right ruined it for the rest of us <laughs> so i so. know uh, i think it's a really cool idea between this and they've been talking about uh gabe newell just talked about uh, new linux uh options they're going to start announcing next week uh mm-hmm. valve i feel is is really still they are the ones moving pc gaming forward mm-hmm. in the new directions and i don't think anybody else is really doing that lately and there's kind of a rumor I heard about uh, they may announce Steambox next week, which exactly. I don't know. Well, but that's that's we'll that Linux thing. So, well, well, Gabe was at mm-hmm. a Linux conference talking about why they're uh, exploring it. There are now over 200 games uh, available on Linux via Steam. Uh, so that's that's a pretty significant number. Uh, so so Steam gaming is a real thing on Linux now. And remember, you know, how long ago we said, you know, if you were on Mac, you're not gaming, basically. How far have we come there already between the Mac App Store and Steam uh, converting over there? Like, I, I'd say probably like a, a third of the games I own are on the Mac. Uh, and I didn't do anything differently. I just happened to have purchased them before. And they said, here is the Mac version. I love this idea with the Steam Play and that they're opening it up like this. So, yeah. yeah. Your brother actually corrected me in the chat. It's, it's the whole game library you can share, not just a game. And it's 10 computers, not 10 users. So 10 total computers. Okay, and, and again, so. and this is also good. They call it family share, obviously, because mm-hmm. I think this is the idea of uh, mom and little Jimmy and dad all have their separate accounts. Mom's playing her Peggle. Uh, Jimmy and dad are playing some Modern Warfare. Uh, L- little Jimmy's invisible, so But I know little Jimmy's invisible, <laughs> but somehow he has his own Steam account. But the idea, you don't need to have a separate copy for each person and share it those stats over and you know imagine if you had your xbox or playstation and you uh started playing gta 5 and nobody else could play gta 5 if they're not logged in as you like that's what this concept has been up to this point so thankfully like pc gaming has been a very solitary like as a role kind of thing Mm -hmm. so this hasn't been too big of a deal so what do you guys think about that riz uh, yeah, like what you guys said, um, it's pretty much saying that it's just exchanging games back and forth with each other. Like, we're, this is the new age of if you have somebody live across the street from you and they have this, this game that you want, <clears throat> you can actually go over there, get the game, bring it back over here. That's doing this now, but in a global aspect. And it's making something so simple, something so massive. Mm-hmm. And I remember a few years ago, we were kind of laughing at Steam, weren't we? Mm-hmm. Why were we laughing at Steam? They weren't really that good a few years ago. A few years ago. What? I, wait, wait, I can't think of any time in the last 10 years that Steam hasn't been good. I'm just saying, the early years of Steam, there was some skepticism. There was, there was, and, and they've they've had some hiccups. But I think I think the reason why Steam is still so strong is because they will have a misstep, and they've learned from their missteps. Uh, unlike EA, which seems to be same in making the same mistake over and over again. Well, that's EA. Yeah. Steam knows better. <laughs> what do you think, Josh? Josh. Chachi. I think it's a great idea. Um. But you're still not getting my copy of GTA Five. Damn it. <laughs> <clears throat> he can try. The man, give the man a cookie for trying. 
I, I mean, I had your account anyhow for a while. I yeah. mean, I don't remember. Yeah, we done, but happened. now with more. But I think when we did that, it, we weren't so big. There wasn't so much of the uh, account thing like we have like with our accounts on Xbox. You know, now right. all those stats roll into that. Um, and if you're, and now I really don't care too much about my, honestly, my, uh, uh, you know, stats and everything on, on Steam, obviously, because I, you know, lend it out to you, lend it out to my brother and everything, uh, which I'm really not supposed to do. And then those, there's emails now that make that a lot heat, harder to do um, with those codes and everything. Uh, but this just streamlines that process, and maybe we can start doing that again, you know, uh, if we were so inclined. So. I don't know. I think it's a really cool concept. I think it's just going to, you know, keep uh, PC gaming alive on every platform. Uh, we talk about, you know, on the Awesome Cast, these things becoming so not, you know, you, you can become so uh, a nomad as far as electronics, as far as your mobile device. And I think more and more now gaming is reflecting that on, you know, on desktop type laptop type computers uh for gaming you know that i can take this copy of half-life 2 because that's the first thing they port to everything uh and play it on three different platforms which i have one of each of those three different platforms sitting in front of me in some shape or form uh but i'm the outside case but the idea is you can explore these and not lose all your games hopefully so um matt also says um if someone else plays a game uh plays a different game from the library, it will kick them off and, unless they are the owner of that game. Okay, so... Wait, so how is this... I, I'm, I'm still wrapping my head around the entire concept. So, I mean, to me, it's it's like I say, here, play Bioshock. I can go play the rest of my games. That's cool. I just can't yeah, go play Bioshock. Yeah, I can't play owner, Bioshock. Think, yeah. But if I go play that game of Bioshock, it will kick that user off that I'm letting borrow it. Yeah, I think so. Okay, okay. Um, and again, we'll see how this works in practice when the beta gets out too. I'm sure there's be a lot of bugs with it. Um, I mean, it's probably took them. All, this is a reason it took this long for them to do it to get you know talk publishers into allowing them to do something like this. So, 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 in 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 to summarize this up, um, you're God in this sense. <laughs> you are God of your games. You are God of your games. You want to play this one? Play this one. Unless I want to play it, then it's mm -hmm. mine. And then you want to play this one? Uh, now I'll play this. There's one. a lot of favors and such that could be uh, amassed out of this. It'd be like yeah, you know. that's that's one thing I don't I don't know how they're gonna do because <laughs> so there will be like a some... black market for yes. for allowing your friends to use that Bobby's, new copy Bobby's of Tomb Raider. Animal Crossing black market scheme. Black market Steam games now going Crossing. back to Steam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Bobby will be right at home with this one. Okay, he said it's the library itself that's being borrowed. If someone else plays it from it, they will get kicked off. Oh wait, so it's it's you're borrowing the whole library. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's yeah, weird. That's really weird. Yeah. Huh? So it's almost <laughs> like I did give you my account. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know about this situation. This seems a little. Now it's fishy. Now it's fishy. You just, you, I mean, it had so much potential. Um, it works out really good if you're on, real, you know, you borrow it out to people on on far far different uh, time schedules than you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Other than that, all right. But yeah, we'll we'll see how that goes. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, Matt or one of us can get on the beta here uh, when yeah. it's released here in a couple weeks, and or on the Steam box if that gets announced. So, what else we got, Bobby? All right. Um. Uh, not only you know, was uh, Grand Theft Auto released today, um, new DLC from Saints Row, Row came out today. Um, the DLC was called the GAT 5 Pack. Not GTA 5, GAT 5 for uh, GATV. Jimmy Gat, was, is that his name? Jimmy Gat. Jimmy Gat, yep. Uh, one of the characters in. Um, no, Johnny Gat. Uh, Johnny Gat. Or Johnny Gat, that's right. Johnny Gat. He's one of the characters in Saints Row. Um, and uh, Riz, you know a little bit more than about Saints Row than I do. Um, uh, yeah. Tell us a little bit about J Johnny Gat. Johnny Gat uh, died in Saints Row 2. Spoilers. Uh, he had. A, I forget what it was that. He had a, a fear of flying, first of all. And oh, you mean for the pack itself? Oh, uh, well, the pack e either itself. the character or the pack too. It yeah, the, well, 
either way, it's Johnny Gat. Yeah. Uh, but in this pack, you get a Gat-themed outfit. So whatever he wore, I believe, in the Saints Row 2, mm-hmm. when, it, when, he, when he was in the game, uh, you get that outfit. And you get hair and glasses and all that stuff. And you also get a combat knife launcher. Which is awesome in the trailer. <laughs> yeah, and a fifty caliber rifle, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, like you said, uh, again, this is this is Saints Row Four trolling everybody. Rockstar, the fans, they were trending on Twitter. Yeah. They were well, actually, they, actually on- GTA Five was uh, was trending on Twitter. They were promoted above that. Yeah, Gat Five, <laughs> and, and and there were a couple uh, tweets that people posted today. Um, oh, and by the way, um, on Steam today, this uh, DLC pack for Saints Row Four is free. It's not free on Xbox or P- PS3, but it's free on Steam today. I guess that's nice. to say, like, to nice. to to make up for the fact that GTA Five is not on PC yet, they're gonna mm. wrangle in the gamers that have uh, Saints Row Four for PC. But um, kudos to Volaton. Volat- Volition, 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 Volition yeah. for doing something like this. Yeah, just the, um, but, just, the, just because his name sounds just like GTA Five, just putting that on there. Like, um, but this, th- this lady from uh, CNN, Marissa Bell Houston, said D Day for gamers. GA TV is out today. <laughs> Did you get the game at midnight? And then she oh, puts a link for the thing. Oh, um, and. Another guy says, "Haha, GA TV is trending. Guess people loved Grand, Grand Auto Theft 5. So there's like a whole bunch of different ones that they listed here, and then people were asking, it. "Why is GA TV promoted by Saints Row?" Stuff like that. So <laughs> neat little wow. story there from uh, Volition. Kudos. Awesome. All right. Um, and speaking of uh, the most anticipated game of the year, um, guys, you know what? You know what game came out today, right? Uh, Hot Wheels, greatest driver in the world. Uh, came I, thought out you were, today. I thought you were talking about My Little Pony. <laughs> no, no, no. Hot Wheels, greatest driver in the world was released today. To much fanfare. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it actually, it was, but everybody pretty much ignored nobody, it. Probably. Nobody bought that game. Nobody's aware of that. <laughs> also, I didn't Robotech know Hot Wheels had a game. Out. But, uh, yeah, Grand Theft Auto V came out today. The reviews were in, and. Um, Basically, IGN said it was a mic drop to other games. Uh, it's getting tens everywhere. You guys have played it. I have not. Um, tell us a little bit about what you went through. No spoilers for the storyline, but uh, what have you done so far? Well, they give you two discs. Mm-hmm. One disc is to play it. The other disc is to load it. It's to install the game. That's how big this game is. And then when you're playing it, it does look more movie-ish. There's not really that many loading screens. I don't think there is a loading screen at all. But there is that... It it feels like you're playing a movie. Hmm. And the graphics itself, from from the first time I played it, are as epic as they were on the commercials. I... I haven't. I, it's it's awesome. That's all I, have to say. I, I. Instead of spoiling it, I'm just gonna say it's awesome. And you guys, whoever hasn't picked this up yet, should pick it up if they're interested. Chachi, you said you played it an hour. What did you do so far? Um, I, I've gotten two out of three characters, um, so far, um, in the story. Oh, yeah. You don't get them right off the bat, all three? No. Oh, no. Wow. Um, their no. stories are interactive. So ah. um, it, it, as you go through one character's story, you unlock another character's story because that character runs into the character that you're currently playing. I see. Um, whether it be a good situation or a bad situation. Um, yeah. It's always bad. So, so far, I only have Franklin and Michael. <laughs> um. And it's it's like Riz said. Um, I, I was extremely irritated by the fact that you have to install the game. 
um, but I quickly got over that. Mm. <laughs> uh, I, I, I mean, I, I installed the game. It says, all right, put in the play disc. You put in the play disc. Uh, my irritation went away that quick. <laughs> um, the graphics are everything they said they were going to be. Um, the gameplay is a little tricky. It gets used. It, you, it takes a little bit for you to get used to. Um, yeah, you have to get used to the the player change too. Yeah, because the, uh, the player change is uh, a little hard to get used to, and they make you do it at some really weird times. Mm -hmm. um, which I'm sure will make more sense as you, I play it more. Um, but as of right now, it, it's a little weird. Um, but I did, and I, I'm going to download that now while I remember, but there is a uh, an app to go with the game mm -hmm. um, that you can do things with. Um, uh, and I, and I, I'm going to go ahead and tell you this, but as you, uh, as you play... Um, you gain a dog, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, it will. Oh yeah, yeah. You can use the app to train the dog. Oh wow! So I, I mean, um, and I'm sorry you if that's to too much of a, a, a spoiler, um, but it, it that's just an example of what you can do with the app. Is the app only for uh, iOS too? I think right. Yeah, the app is only for iOS right now. No, it's supposed to be for everything. Oh, really? It, it just says your personal smartphone. Oh, hmm. good. Well, that's so good. I, I'm looking for it now. I, I'm, I believe you can only get it through Rockstar's website. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, it's not in the Google Play Store. So, hmm. um, it, but yeah, it's um, it's tons of fun. It, it's definitely worth picking up if you have it. And this it's is only single player. Yeah, and this is, Imagine this in is two only weeks. single player. <laughs> <laughs> two weeks is going to be a major milestone for this game. Mm -hmm. Because not only is this game going to produce in the online mode, but they have to have the servers up really quick. Because as I've, I've learned from EA and Origin, they, if they have something mat, that massive online, they're going to need something big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or else the whole thing will just crash. Hopefully, they'll learn from well, that. Well, they said about 150 missions in the like first thing alone. 500 or 500 missions. 500 missions. Wow, that's huge. No, I'm getting a boner already. <laughs> you should move. Right. You should pretty much move on, Bobby. <laughs> yeah, I, I was gonna say. Um, now we're gonna talk about Ducktales. <laughs> In our boss battle question this week, um, the question is, uh, with the re-release DuckTales being slightly disappointing, what HD re-release would you like to see of a classic 8-bit game? Now, I played DuckTales this week, um, the demo of it, and I've seen other people play it. It's not as good as everybody thought it was going to be. Um, the voice acting is just like they're just reading it off paper. It... They, they really didn't improve on the game. Well, there wasn't much to improve on with DuckTales to begin with, but they, there's some parts that they changed, and just it's not as good. There's cutscenes like every five minutes in the game when you go on. It's just not as good. So um, what are some games you guys want to see re-released that were 8-bit games, or even 16-bit games in high def? To Jam and Earl. Okay, that's a good That one. could be fun. Uh, up the graphics? Or, yes. I'm sorry, up the music a bit? Up the music, up the graphics. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And it goes standby, Mega Man 2. Yeah. Like, um, they That's updated the say. graphics for, like, Mega Man X. It yeah. was pretty cool. Um, but they, they, didn't, did, they didn't do it for Mega Man 2 when they released it on iOS. They did a version on uh, PSP of Mega Man, the first Mega Man, with uh, Mega Man had, like, a big head, and they redid all the levels and stuff like that, but yeah. they never got to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you know. I mean, I mean, we got, we've gotten a lot of them. Like, we've had NBA Jam, and I still say, mm -hmm. you know, I like, I, I like NBA Jam on Wii and on the uh, mobile devices, because it feels like the way it felt on the Super Nintendo, even though, like, if you look back at Super Nintendo, it doesn't look nearly mm -hmm. as good. Uh, and, and that's, those are the kinds of games. I want it to feel the way it felt. Not necessarily have to look the same. 
So, mm -hmm. yeah. I think an updated uh, Metroid would be kind of cool. Yeah. Well, that, that's that's the thing. All the games I would want to see updated, you're not going to get on the system that I play. So. Yeah, that's true. It doesn't too. matter. Mm -hmm. Well, still in general though. Mm -hmm. So, Chachi, you're—I mean, you—you you want the general, like you would love to see some HD uh, NES Zelda games, uh, you know, Metroid, yeah. Super Mario Brothers three, things that I'm not going to get. Wouldn't it be great to have another, you know, Mario All Stars that's in HD? Yeah, you know, that would they, be amazing, but it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Mm, they did—they did the one for the Wii though, but I don't think it was. It was just basically emulators. It was not yeah. nothing right. updated. So, um. Another one I was thinking of uh, would, if if you're sticking with Capcom, they could do like Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. Mm -hmm. They released that. That was a fun game back in the day. Yeah, it was one of the best. They were always really mm -hmm. good with those those uh, Disney games, uh, for the most part, at least. How about Tiny Toons yeah. Avengers? Tiny Toons Avengers. That'd be a good one. Yeah, if if there good. was ever a resurgence for Tiny Toons, I would hope they would do that. I, mm -hmm. That's why it kind of surprised me they did Ducktales because. Is DuckTales, like, in syndication or something? Or what's going on there? Uh, not you know? really. No, I think at it's least just Tiny one of everybody's Tunes favorite still... as NES games. Mm -hmm. I mean, at least Tiny Toons is still, like, you know, relevant. Is yeah, it? They're it's, still it's on in the syndication. Oh, they are. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're in syndication at least. Okay. Animaniacs. There you go. The Animaniacs? game wasn't very good for that one, though. I, I, I think, yeah, the I game think wasn't we... that, yeah. I think we had it for the Super Nintendo. It wasn't what terrible. Aladdin. It wasn't terrible. Oh, jeez, the Genesis oh, Aladdin? Yeah. God, like, in my mind's eye, it was already in HD before there was HD. Yeah. You know? I mean, it was, like, the first time where, like, you felt like you were playing a movie. You were playing a, a cartoon. Uh, I it, What they did with that, how fluid it was for the Sega Genesis, was just astonishing. You know? Mm -hmm. So. It's that blast processing. Blast processing. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for us this week. Um, be sure to follow us on at insertcointv. Or at insertcointv. Um, visit the website at uh, insertcointobegin.com. Uh, new stuff going up uh, weekly, daily, sometimes. Um, so hit us up in the comment threads, and that'll do it for this week. Game over. Oh, the challenge this week is home improvement. Now game over. <laughs>